I've been saying it since they got Chandler Jones and Devontae Adams in the span of about a week. Uh, I think with McDaniels going to Vegas, uh, I like the the Raiders in the AFC West. I'm kind of standing uh, a very in a very thin crowd. Michael, uh, talk me uh, out of it or tell me I'm right. You go for it. Well, you know, for full disclosure, my son's the offense coordinator, so you know my heart's with the Raiders and my heart's with your <laughs> prediction. But I do love, I do love what they've done. I think Derek Carr with Gruden really improved. When Gruden went in there, they could Carr didn't throw the ball down the field. Over the three seasons that Gruden had Carr, he got him to throw down the field. I think he's going to embrace. And I was at practice last week, Rich, watching the Raiders and the Patriots, and I could feel the energy from the offensive players towards McDaniel's offense. And we know McDaniel's can run an offense. And I think people tend to go back to his experience in Denver. I didn't get that experience on that practice field. I think all the players are buying in for what McDaniel's is selling at the Las Vegas Raiders. And with the skill that they have, Darren Waller, when he gets back on the field, and I fully expect him to be back there week one, is an outstanding player. He's a unique talent to go along with Adams and Hunter Renfro. Think about Hunter Renfro. Last year, 82% of the time when the ball was thrown to Hunter Renfro, he made the catch. The best in the National Football League, even better than Cooper Cup. So they've got skill players. Josh Jacobs can run. I think the key for the Raiders for, to, to, to fulfill your prediction is simply this. They must play from in front. And that allows Max Crosby, Chandler Jones to rush the passer, to do what they do really well. If they get into a slugfest or have to play from behind, their offensive line will get exposed, and their lack of size and power on the edges will also be affected. So, yeah, and, and also Mick has got to call a heck of a game, right, your son? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think he's got Josh to help him a lot. That there, helps right? him with so that, too. Well, I mean, you, I mean, you're as locked in as they possibly can come. You must even know the, the real estate agent who had to tell uh, you know his boss, Tom Brady's not taking the house. Right in Vegas, you must <laughs> yeah. even know that person. Well, I, that that, that is it. You know, I, I said this on Instagram on one of those reels that uh, oh, nice. I was taught how to make by <laughs> yeah. my, my dear friend, uh, his, his daughter. Yes. I mean, you know, I don't. Dana White doesn't mean to verify the story. It's true. I mean, it, it, it's very true. And for I don't know the reasons why John got cold feet, but it is a true story. I mean, John, it, I, I can't believe that. And and I love Derek Carr. I do, but how do you get Brady and Gronk knocking on your door uh, at that point in time? And obviously, it's not a guarantee that v Vegas would have had the same success as Tampa. But what is it like? Because Gr doesn't Gruden love you know old school veteran quarterbacks? I mean, Brady is the king of that. I don't get it. Yeah, but I think he, I, I think it would have been a hard marriage. I think Gruden likes old school quarterbacks that'll kind of do what he wants them to do, and I think Brady likes to typically likes to do what he does. They're two different systems. I think it would have been a hard marriage to really, because Brady comes from a unique way. I think Derek Carr's learning that now. I think Derek Carr's experienced it with Josh McDaniels. It's a completely different way of operating an offensive football team, the Patriot way that has happened over the time from Charlie Weiss to Josh McDaniels to Billy O'Brien and then back to Josh again. It's a unique way. And, and I think that John's different in how he approaches the game from a team's collective standpoint, and I think that would have probably frustrated frustrated Brady. I guess so, but uh, just to linger on this one, a split second here longer, Michael Lombardi, is just didn't Tom Coughlin change his stripes, right? <clears throat> his spots? <laughs> Honestly, like he, he – I, I think the mark, of, the mark of a great coach is adapt, adaptability, right? Right. And so you're going to have to adapt. And, look, uh, when you look over John's career, Rich, he never has trained a young quarterback – in his system, he's always had veteran guys. Rich Gannon, MVP of the league in 2002, not with Gruden, but with Bill Callahan. But in 01, he was very good with Gruden. And then, you know, Brad Johnson in Tampa Bay. And, you know, the Gannon? kind of players that yeah. he gravitates himself to are guys that are not quite that elite level. He makes them better. I don't know if that would have worked. 